Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Derek Knight here, personal trainer, nutrition weight loss specialist, personal sport worker, psychology graduate, football coach, football player, and dog owner. Wait, the somewhere in the corner. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. He's in the bathroom. Oh, it's cold. So I'm making this video today to talk about uh, two things. One is I got a new job working for a major gym in Oakville. That's located on Dorval, just north of the QEW. I'm not going to say the name of the gym because I don't want to get myself in trouble. But if you come in there, you happen to know my face, ask for Derek Knight. I'll come help you out with anything that you need. Uh, I'm not big on bodybuilding. If you're a bodybuilder, you want to come talk to me. I'm, I'm going to fix your brain first and foremost. But if you're an athlete, um, yeah, I'll make you faster, stronger, more explosive. If you are a looking for someone with functionality, if you want to be able to sit, stand, have a healthy life up until you're 75, 95, 125, whatever, I will help you with your functionality. So I got a new job at this major gym, so please come in, come see me before my prices go up, which I don't dictate, the gym dictates that. Well, I dictate because of how hard I work, but that's enough. Next, I want to talk about my recovery. No, I'm not a recovering drug addict, that shit's silly. Um, I had a major, I had a major concussion in 2012. I've had anywhere between 12 and 16 significant head injuries in my life. Uh, I cracked my head open when I was a kid. There's a scar somewhere up here. I'll show you guys when I shave my head. Um, I had a seizure playing rugby in high school. Uh, I've been knocked out a number of times in a number of sports. I'm in a little cross. I got dropped in my head. Hockey, I got hit from behind. In football, I, I've got destroyed a few times being a smaller guy going up for a football. Um, and the last one I had, I got punched in the head by a guy with special special needs. Um, we were doing fitness stuff, and uh, his shoe came untied. So I went to tie his shoe, and his shoe came untied. And I went to tie his shoe, and he popped me in the back of the head. And the back part of your head, the back part of your skull, is nowhere near as strong as your frontal part of your skull. So I remember bits and pieces of that day. I, I kind of remember filling out the paperwork. Like I remember the paper in front of me, and I remember how long it took. I remember being really dizzy, really sick. I'm getting nauseous thinking about it. Excuse me. Ugh. Um, I remember bits and pieces of going to the doctors uh, over and over that summer as, or, or the fall or the winter or the spring. I didn't know what season it was. It's just, I remember going to the doctors and wearing different types of clothing. Um, but a lot of that is all smushed together in my memory because of the, the series of head injuries. So when I was recovering from my, this concussion that I'm speaking of, when I got punched in the head, um, I was running a fitness program for guys with special needs. I had it on schedule. And I wasn't going to stop doing it, and I figured it'd be good rehab, uh, and it was. It was amazing rehab, but it sucked to go through. I, I hated. I, when every time I got there, I was sick and I was dizzy. When I uh, when I was during the program, I was irritable and I was dizzy and I was nauseous. When I when I was finished, um, I didn't want to go anywhere. Like I really just wanted to lay down in, in this facility that I worked out of and just do nothing, just let my body heal. Um, I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to drive. I didn't want to take the bus. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I was miserable. Um, but slowly, I got over as, as the 10-week program kind of came to a conclusion. I felt much better every single day, and that was huge. So I tried going to the gym after I was done with this program, and uh, it was it was just as bad. Um, when I got really far on my lifts, I was getting to failure. Uh, my breathing and the lights in that gym, it wasn't allowing me to get enough oxygen to my brain, or nor my brain was ready for any of that kind of exertion. I would get spots, I would get dizzy, um, I would hear buzzing, and that's a lot of symptoms. But so I haven't been to a gym in maybe 16 months, 18 months, 20 months. And yesterday is my first day back because I got a job at this gym and I want to get working. I felt fantastic yesterday. The lights aren't too bright. Uh, it's, it's carpeted. It wasn't too loud. It was very nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, so it felt great to get back in the gym. I did some cleans, did some front squats, did some overhead squats. Uh, just get myself back into it. Did some unique calisthenic stuff with kettlebells and TRX and some pull-ups. It felt fantastic. Um, this is part one. I'm going to make three parts of this concussion series. I want to help you guys out with your concussions. Um, but it's not its not a joke. It's no fun, right? And I'm going to explain to you guys what concussion is, how to get through it, how serious it can be long term, and what it does to someone like Junior Seau, if you don't know who that is, former NFLer. I'll tune in next time. Best wishes, good health. Take care, everyone.